All right, everybody, this is the program that I use, as you can see from the, uh, the top of the screen here. It's called Agent Pro 24-7. Uh, now, here, uh, here's what you do. I'll just log in quick. Okay, now the first step here is go, to go to this button up here that says Farm. So I'm going to click on that. And for the purposes of this quick tutorial, we're going to go to the state of Florida. If I can find that. And we're going to look in the Orlando area, which is Orange County. And really, uh, there's not a ton of stuff you have to do in order to sort your list, but I'll hit the crucial areas quickly. For this particular subscription that I have, there's three steps. This first step, you can enter in some, fil uh, some filters in here if you want. I personally don't, so I just kind of skip this whole first step. And the reason I do that is because I do mailings on a county by county basis, uh, which means really as long as it's in Orange County, and that's all I care about. I don't really need any specific addresses or streets or zip codes or anything like that. So that's why I skip this particular step. Uh, this next one, it allows you to pick the property types that you're looking for within this county. What I do is I'm just going to do single family residential homes, which is what SFR stands for. So we'll click that. Uh, use code, this is actually sort of a redundancy. What it does is it gives you even more specific uh, ways to search for properties. I mean, really specific things. So if you want to do that too, you can, but the purposes of what I'm doing, single family residential is a good enough explanation, broad enough and narrow enough for what I need. Uh, other oddball things you can do, probably the most important one is owner occupancy, and we're going to do absentee owners only, and then we'll say only the ones without a pool. So that's really all you got to do there. And then step three, uh, the first thing up here, it's pretty useful when it's available. This isn't available in all 50 states. Just like, for example, in Michigan, you can't do it there, but you can do it in places like California and Florida. And what it does is you can actually filter out properties that are or are not foreclosures or tax delinquent properties, which is actually pretty awesome. Uh, so for example, if you said uh, yes to the uh, tax option, that would pull up only the properties that are currently delinquent on their property taxes. And you know, as you know, uh, the tax thing can be pretty helpful because a lot of times delinquent tax properties um, happen to just for whatever reason for a number of reasons really the owners are usually a lot more motivated to sell just for this example I'm going to include that and then the rest of the stuff one that I'll do for this example is market value and what this allows you to do is filter out so that you only have properties that are within a certain market value and what I'm going to choose is everything that's worth between fifty thousand and two hundred thousand dollars so kind of your bread and butter single-family homes and just so you know I mean this market value item it's not perfect for obvious reasons I mean you can't always know what every property is worth but what it does is it uses the county's assessed value and from that it calculates what the county thinks the market value is of each property so that's how it's doing it and these other items here uh, are actually only available to people who are a silver or gold uh, subscriber and they can actually be very useful uh, for example if you wanted properties only the ones that were bought 10 years ago or longer or say if you want a properties that didn't have a mortgage on them things like that Th that's the kind of thing you could also filter if you had these more expensive subscriptions I personally don't have that and it hasn't hurt me but if that's something you're looking for by all means feel free and really that's all you got to do the next step is to go hit this count only button and what it's going to do is count the total number of properties that fit into your search criteria and in this case we've got 333 properties and typically my mailings are anywhere from three 300 to a thousand uh, per mailing so this number definitely fits within a you know a good criteria for me I mean just to give you an example say we took off this uh, tax delinquent thing and just said everybody you know taxes don't matter and we hit count only again now we've got 5,000 that fit into our thing, which is way more than I need. So I'm just going to, just so you got an idea that, I mean, the more um, the more you narrow your list, the more targeted it's going to be. And it actually, you can narrow it too much. You'll find sometimes if you narrow it too far, this count will just say zero, and you won't have anybody in the county that fits exactly what you're looking for. So you can't be too picky, but you definitely want to be picky on some level so that you're not getting every single house in the county. So once we know we've got that, the next step is you can actually view records and the nice thing about this is um, this allows you to see exactly what you're gonna get before you buy it um, and it's not in a nice Excel spreadsheet yet but it kinda gives you an idea of what's gonna be there what's even nicer is that you can actually go through this 
and you can eliminate redundancies. You can get rid of people who you who you basically know will not sell to you. So, for example, if I was looking through here and saw Bank of America, I'm probably not going to buy a property directly from Bank of America, just given what I do. So I would take that off the list. Um, another thing, see, like for this example, we've got CDG Investments, and it looks like like they own three properties that are all kind of right next to each other. So since I know I'm only going to send them one postcard, I'm not going to send them 10 postcards if they own 10 properties. So really what you can do is eliminate those redundancies, just uncheck them, and then they're not going to show up on your list, and it's not going to count against your the number that you're allowed to pull each month. If you're looking to be efficient, you can take the time to go through this and really narrow things down. So once once you've kind of gone through it and you know it's everything is checked that you want, you hit select records and you really just want to name it whatever you want to I'll just call it orange and then uh, once that's processed uh, the next step is to hit export and right here it, it kind of checks all of the different pieces of information that are going to be included in your list and as you can imagine we don't need all of this stuff in fact we're going to end up deleting a lot of it if this is if this ends up being on our list it really doesn't cost anything more to do this so I usually just leave it as is and hit OK and now it says export file has been created and then you just download it and this is what you end up getting this is the list that we just essentially paid for as part of our monthly subscription and as you can see there's a lot of information here uh, we're not going to need a lot of this and in the next video I'm going to show you exactly what we do with this list how we make sense of it and how we filter it and make it look exactly like it needs to so that we can then go ahead and send out our mail so as you can see agent pro is a pretty helpful tool especially for real estate investors like us who are trying to get property information pull lists things like that I personally don't know of any tool out there that's better than this I mean it's been just a really awesome resource for me. So if you're watching this right now and you're thinking to yourself, you know, this is good. I got to get in on this. Then there's really a couple things that you can do. First of all, if you want to do a free trial, you can go right down here, click on that button and just sort of follow the prompts and uh, do what you need to do. But I mean, if you see this and you just, you know, right off the bat, this is what you need and you want to pull the trigger and sign up. All you have to do is go right up here to the sign up now button. And the first thing that you're going to see is this right here. And what you're looking at right here are all of the different types of subscriptions that you can sign up for. And something that you'll obviously see if you look over here to the right uh, is really just the cost per month. And, you know, they can be, you know, pretty expensive all the way down to pretty cheap. If you're looking to run a business like the one that I do, you're probably going to want to go with either this one right here, the bronze subscription, or the profile package over here. And the only real difference is with the bronze subscription you're going to want to choose this one if your primary purpose is just to pull lists for direct mail purposes if that's what you're after and that's all you really want to do then that's probably the best choice for you on the other hand if you want to use agent pro to actually do a lot of property research pull up property profile reports and figure out you know transaction history market values locations addresses all this stuff in that case you'll probably want to do the profile package because it allows you to pull up to 50 full profiles per month Personally, my business model doesn't really require me to, you know, pay a ton of money for these really expensive subscriptions, but I know that there are some business models out there that actually require this kind of thing if you want to get foreclosure data or, or mortgage information or all of that stuff. If that's something you need, then by all means, feel free to sign up for some of these. So whichever one you want to do, I want you to pay attention to something here because this is a trick that not many people know about. If you go right up here to the partner ID box, all you have to do is enter in this code, CFG. R S H and when I click update I want you to pay attention to what happens to all of these numbers here because once I do that all the prices for everything across the board goes down 10 percent and that's not just the savings on one month that's a permanent savings for the life of your subscription so you'll definitely want to enter that code in and save yourself some money over the long haul once you've got your subscription shows and I'm just gonna pick that one for now go next and this window right here I don't really do anything with you can just sort of hit next again and then this one again you just hit next again it just kinda of summarizes the prices for you and in this step right here it's really just the usual drill where you fill in all your contact information and choose a password and all that but one thing I want to draw your attention to is the fact that all of these fields are actually required fields as you'll see by these little asterisks right here and obviously that's no big deal until you get down here when it asks for your real estate license number I get a lot of questions from people who say you know Seth I can't get through because I'm not a real estate agent I don't have that license number and I'll just tell you right now it's okay alright all you gotta do if you're an investor is just type the word investor in here all right, 
and then you'll have something in that field and then you'll be able to click on to the next one and keep moving forward. In the next couple of steps you'll have to enter in your payment information and make your first payment and get started and that's really all there is to it. It's not too complicated. So thanks again for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you got any questions you can always feel free to call this support number here. I know I've called it a couple times and usually they can help me with whatever it is that I need. So feel free to reach out to them if you need any help and uh, yeah I wish you all the best and go out there and find some deals. Good luck.